Oh, what's up, everybody? It's to bring you guys another video. Sorry, I got clean shave. You know what I'm saying? Clean uh, shave, clean haircut, everything's clean. You know what I'm saying? I got to keep myself simple. Anyway, I'm here to talk to you guys about uh, Nintendo sales that were reported, financial results by Nintendo themselves. Here to talk about the games I've been playing right now, and also here to talk about games I'm looking forward to in the future. So let's get right down to it. Anyway, I want to give a shout out to Whatever, whatever Bowl Gramps. Bro, if you want to play. Actually, I forgot to tell you guys. I got Monster Hunter World. Yeah, PS4. I caved in and decided to uh, get it on console. Uh, I will begin the PC version, but it's not going to be day one. So I'll probably buy the PC version sometime next year, 2019. Yes, that's it. Unless there's some ridiculous sale figure. But I'm looking, I already know it's going to be optimized on PC. I know PC gamers are just going to go crazy. Anyway, Monster Hunter World. If you pre order the game, uh, actually, you have to pre well, I'm not sure if you have to pre order the game, but. You get the steel book, so just want to show you guys the steel book here. That's the front cover, and this is the back cover right here on Monster Hunter World. And let me open a window so I can get a better frame rate. So give me a second. All right, there we go. Better frame rate. It seems like it seems folks that um the lighter the area, the better the frame rate. The darker it is, the less the frame rate. So this is a weird camera. So I think it's time for me to upgrade. From the the Logitech HD 180p camera, I'm just I'm done with this one. I gotta give myself a better camera. If you know a better quality camera that's like this, but at solid like 60 frames or you know so <laughs> for that nature, a very quality that doesn't mess up and like that, please put it in the comment section. Please give me some ideas so I can purchase one for myself. Anyway, so again, I got myself Monster Hunter World for the PlayStation 4. I was going to get for the Xbox One uh, because I want to support the, the Japanese titles on the Xbox platform because I'm seeming to be the only one buying Japanese titles. Um, <laughs> because I'm really shocked that other Japanese titles are coming to the Xbox platform, like Sword of Art Online, Fatal Bullet, so which is the only Sword Art Online game I'm look, I'm interested in. But no, um, this is the inside, by the way. I've now put the disc in. It's still in the case here. Sorry. Bam, like that. So I know it's also that Monster Hunter World's been having a lot of performance issues, but anyway, at Wearable Gramps, I do have the game, and I know you're way ahead of me. I know you're saying you love the game to death. You're way ahead of me. So um, if you want to play co op uh, in this game, uh, I like to say I already added you, which is Hugo. I forgot the other name. I, I already sent you a friend request. So I hope you uh, accept it. But anyway, um, you left me a message on Google Plus. But anyway, I accepted it. And also, I forgot this game is PS4 Enhanced. And I know there's also a multiple modes to adjust the frame rate and whatnot, like a performance mode. But, uh, yeah, that's the case right there. So the game I've been playing, uh, well, I haven't touched this yet. I haven't touched it. I installed it on my PS4 and all the updates and whatnot, but I have not touched it yet. But I've been playing, shoot, I've been playing Neo. I've been playing Neo, and I want to get on this. But like I told you guys before, I've been beating games. I've been Pokemon Moon, Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate. Uh, I was going to start Monster Hunter 3, 3 Ultimate. I also want to tell you guys that... Um, I ordered myself a copy of Monster Hunter Double Cross, basically Monster Hunter Generations HD for Nintendo Switch, but it's a Japanese version. And um, I decided to cave in and get that. <coughs> if they, if Capcom uh, localizes the game here uh, in America, I'm not going to buy the USA version unless it's so ridiculously cheap in the future. But Monster Hunter Double Cross, uh, according to Capcom, has done successfully well. That's their report today. Um, at the same time, these Nintendo financial results and Street Fighter Ultra Street Fighter 2, uh, uh, Ultra Street Fighter 2, the new challengers or final challengers, I'm sorry, subtitle on Nintendo Switch have done a fantastic job. Those games are close to be uh, selling a million, I believe. So, good stuff. So, um, hey, it is what it is. Capcom can do whatever you want, but I decided to give in. I, I don't speak Japanese fluently, I try. Uh, I'm learning, um, not so much orally, but more so, uh, through learning through text. So Monster Hunter doesn't have um, Japanese dialogue or anything like that. It's all text. So it shouldn't be that much big of an issue for me. You know what I'm saying? Learning, uh, playing these uh, these JRPGs <laughs> in uh, their tongue because I, I can, I mean, in their um, their language because I, I can just read it. So I already know the actions and whatnot, but it's just it's going to be a lot to take in. You know what I'm saying? So bear with me on that. But we'll be doing an unboxing of that game tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. Sorry, just checking my phone here. Um, to be a, that seems to get a phone call from somebody. Anyway, um, so uh, so going so going back to what I was saying. So Nintendo uh, financial results were reported today, and the Nintendo Switch has sold nearly 15 million units. Wow! Give Nintendo props. Look, man, PlayStation Master Race, PC Master Race, Nintendo has hashtag Nintendo Master Race. 
you got to give Nintendo props. The game, the the game, the you the the console, the Nintendo Switch has outsold the Wii U, which I believe was thirteen point five six units. This bad boy, I believe, was according to I forgot the actual point percentage. I mean, point uh, number. I was fourteen point six point seven. I don't know how many it was. Maybe point eight. I couldn't remember. I know it was sold. I sold fourteen million plus units and about to be nearly five fifteen million wow nintendo you did a fantastic job that's good stuff and not only that they had at least uh sales of a lot of their million uh um million um sellers on their console splatoon 2 sold five million plus super Mario odyssey sold nine million in just <laughs> in two quarter month that is crazy actually I, I, I'm not sure uh, what time they stopped recording the sales. Was it, I believe, in Jan mid January? You know what I'm saying? I don't know if we had the sales of late January, but the game has sold 9 million plus copies. And it's the best selling 3D Marvel game in history. I don't know if it's the best selling Marvel game in general, but it's the best selling 3D Marvel game in history. It's outsold Super Mario Galaxy 1. It's going to outsell Super Mario Galaxy 1 and 2 combined sales. That's crazy. So, man, the Switch dominance. Wow, Nintendo is Switch dominating, man. Dominating. Nintendo, you got to give them props. Fantastic job, man. Nintendo, Nintendo. I've been so critical of Nintendo for the Wii and the Wii U. I skip both generations, man. But, man, I just recently, I told you guys before, I got myself another Wii U after buying the darn thing for $115. eBay, like new condition. If you have not been watching my videos, but man, Nintendo, 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 good stuff. So, uh, Splatoon 2 sold 5 million plus, Super Mario Odyssey, 9 million plus, um, 1 2 Switch, don't care, that's like a casual game. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, 1 million plus, uh, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, I believe 7.5, nearly 7.5 million, is about to sell the Wii U version. The port is about to sell the Wii U version. Oh my goodness. What else was there? Um, Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Sold a million. Anyway, hey, I know that game had performance issues and whatnot. I've still not touched that game. Uh, and I hope to God there's been some patches since then. Because according to Digital Foundry, that I mean it, that's a pitiful, man. A portable mode I heard was even worse. I'm like, oh come on, dude. That's more that literally that's all I play is portable mode. I rare I very extremely rarely have touched uh dock mode with my switch. It's crazy. Anyway, so we have that. And what else was there? I believe, um, uh, I think that's it. I think that's it. If you're not counting third party games, but other third party games, something like Hockey Xenoverse, Xenoverse 2, uh, sorry, Xenoverse Dragon Ball, Xenoverse 2 has sold 600,000 plus copies. I mean, all the third party games by Bandai Namco, I mean, uh, Atlas put anything on there, uh, Bandai Namco, Capcom, those two, per, uh, prominently. Uh, Ubisoft have been selling fantastically, fantastically, man. I mean, my goodness. Rayman Legends uh, uh, Definitive Edition is on sale at uh, Best Buy for $16. You have a gamer's club unlocked, and if you don't, it's $20. I mean, just come on. D D Nintendo, stop. Anyway, so Nintendo, congratulations again. Another set of claps. Nintendo Switch dominate, and it, is, it has not been a full year yet. This is this is according, I believe, again, I don't know what when these sales were last recorded. I believe, like, late, like, December 31st, New Year's Eve, or maybe um, mid to early January. I don't know, but we'll, but, but we're going to get more sales. And it has, and the, the Switch has not been out for a year. I mean, a year, folks. It has not been out for a full year. A full year the Switch has not been out. That's crazy. It's been out for 10 months. We still got two more months. We got February, and we got a half of March to see the full sales of the Nintendo Switch. It is, Sony said themselves that they're scared of Nintendo. That's crazy. 15 million. And it's not even a full year. We still got two more months. Add another 2 million to that list. You're looking at 17, 18 million within 10 months. Five Within five years, usually the Nintendo's console generation, you're looking at 18 times five, how much? 90 million. It is outpacing the PlayStation 4. It's outpacing, well, I mean, the PlayStation 4 is outpacing the PlayStation 2. So, yeah, we got to start with PS4. PS2 done now, because now PS4 is outpaced again. But, man, man, it's a good time to be a gamer. This console fanboy, not, uh, console war nonsense, man, I laugh. Man, I got no time for that. 
You know what I'm saying? But hey, look, man, I'm enjoying that living heck out of Neo. But again, one of our programs, again, send me a message on uh, on uh, PSN if you want to play Cooperative League. I definitely want to do so. I definitely got to also make sure there's a time event for Horizon Zero Dawn content, which I got to get because I don't, I, I, I don't know if that's going to be limited or if they're going to keep doing that. But hey, it is what it is. But I got to make sure I, I, I got to play Monster Hunter. I'm sorry. I got to get on that bad boy. Anyway, looking forward to it. So uh, that Nintendo good stuff. So um, the next Nintendo title, I just want to say that uh, I'm well. I'm about to talk about the games I'm looking forward to, but the next Nintendo title I will be picking up. Uh, I haven't picked up any any Switch titles since Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Not a single Switch title has been bought since Xenoblade Chronicles 2, and that was December what third, fourth. I forgot the day. Uh, so, um, no, I haven't bought a single Switch title since, and I'm not actually touched a Switch title since. I've been playing nothing but PS4 or PC games. So, um, we'll see about that. But anyway, the games we're looking forward to, I guess you guys before, I've been buying barely any games. Uh, the month of January, I bought Axiom Verge, uh, no, actually, no, that was December. I bought Axiom Verge <clears throat> for the Switch. Um, in the month of January, I bought, I purchased Monster Hunter Double Cross and Monster Hunter World, okay, and the other title was, uh, I think that's it. <laughs> that was it. That's all I actually all I bought. Monster Hunter World and Monster Hunter X. A, a double, uh, sorry, Double Cross. Generations HD, basically. That's all I bought this month. Just uh, two titles. That's it. One for the Switch, one for the PS4. Okay? Uh, both nearly full price. Well, actually, I bought, I got, you will not believe, I got a deal on Monster Hunter Double Cross. I got it for $50.02 on eBay. Brand new. So it's going to be here tomorrow, and I got Monster Hunter World for a total of $52. Well, actually, I had a certificate, so it actually cost me $47. So, yeah, I only spent uh, about $100, $100 on games this month. That's it. That's it. No DLC, no nothing. Just Monster Hunter World and Monster Hunter Double Cross. So that's it. Um, month of February, nothing of interest. There's a lot of titles coming out in month of February. We have uh, Faye. We got Bandai 1 plus 2 Switch port. Not getting it because uh, because Bandai 1 is a digital port. And on top of it, I got uh, Bandai 1 backwards compatible with the Xbox One. And I also have it on PC via Steam on 4K, 60 frames per second. Sorry, no reason. And I have Bandai 2 uh, uh, um, physically on the Switch. And actually, if you get the uh, the um, <clears throat> the uh, if you get Bandai 1 and 2 for the Nintendo Wii U. I, I, meant, I said Switch, by the way. I meant Wii U. I got Bayonetta 2 for the Wii U. Bayonetta 1 and 2 uh, were bundled together uh, in its first print for the Wii U. So you can actually get it used. You can get the bad boy for about a good $37. So it's pretty dope. So um, there's no reason for me to get the Switch port. Unless that bad boy drops like $20, and no reason for me to get it. Um, you also got other titles, like uh, like I said, mentioned early in the video, Sword uh, Art Online, Fatal Bullet. You got that. You got, um, what else? You, I said Faye. You have, um, I can't think of any other titles that actually coming out in the month of February. Um, you got Kingdom Come Deliverance, which freaking looks amazing. That's a true RPG. True RPG, I'm sorry. Medieval RPG looks dope. Um, but I won't be buying that day one, but I'll be buying it sometime uh, later this year. Looks phenomenal, <clears throat> really does. Um, and I think that's it. Those are just some t general titles. So February pretty much done. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, in the month of March, we got Yakuza Zero and Nino Kune Two. And I just want to say that Nino Kune Two Collector's Edition. I'm beginning that day one. It's the best collector's edition I've seen since I believe Tales of Versaria or maybe Tales of Zestaria. Actually, I think Tales of Zestaria and that game was actually the weakest of, of the Tales franchise. But anyway, um, it looks phenomenal. There's only 25,000 uh, collector editions in print, so hey, it is what it is. Um, that's it, uh, and I'm looking forward to it. And uh, it, it just it looks amazing, folks. I just want to tell you what's in there real quick. It, it comes with a diorama. It comes with a case, uh, a big massive like like a, some type of PC case. It comes with some art book, a steel book, uh, the box itself, the game, season pass, digital content, plus toys, cheap keychains. I mean, my goodness, for, for uh, $200, but I got gamers coming locks for 20% off. <laughs> so I'll be paying only 160 for it. Hey, <laughs> okay, right? So uh, it looks dope, or about 170 whatever, it don't matter. Anyway, so I'm looking forward to that. Yakuza 0 comes out March 20th. I'm getting the, uh, the collection edition for that one too, which comes with two glass Yakuza cuffs. I promise you, I will take care of them. I promise y'all will wrap them in uh in a newspaper to make sure I take care of those those cuffs, man. I'm telling you, man, that's a that is amazing. That is amazing. <laughs> I promise you, when I do a video, I'm gonna be drinking 
out of that cup. Anyway, that and the other title was Devil May Cry HD Collection, which is pretty cool. Another remaster for Capcom. That's all they're doing is remastering titles. I'm looking forward to that, but um, that's going to be a day one buy for me. We'll see. Other than that, that's, that's it for March. Only three titles. April, nothing. Except for uh, um, this God of War, but I'm quite disappointed that God of War 4, which I don't know why they're, by the way, calling it just God of War again. I don't know why Santa Monica Studios just... I, I don't understand. This is a new installment. It's just call it God of War 4. It don't matter. Anyway, God of War coming to PS4. They released... They gave a release date. It's April 20th, 23rd, or whatnot. Anyway, the game... Uh, we'll have two collection edition. Um, if I do get the game day one, it's going to be the collection edition. That's it. Uh, and the other title is Shantae Half Genie Hero Day One Ultimate Edition. Finally been confirmed with all the DLC and all that good stuff. I've been looking forward to that. I, I beat Shantae the uh, uh, Pirate's Curse. Oh man, that's one of the best indie titles I've ever played. Hands down, that game was, was amazing. <laughs> Took me about a week, two weeks to beat that bad boy. My man, it was amazing. I seriously just wow, love it. So anyway, I beat, and I did two playthroughs of that game too, by the way. Anyway, one of the best fantastic in, uh, any times I've played. Um, so I'm going back to play Risky's Revenge when I get some time in the future. Anyway, uh, I'm looking forward to that. But that's it for April. Nothing in April of interest. That's it. Two titles. And that's good. I like that. And then uh, March, I mean, only on the month of May, only one title. Dark Souls 3. I said Dark Souls 3. Dark Souls Remaster coming to the Switch, Xbox One, PS4, and the PC. They confirmed the Switch version will be 30 frames per second. But you know who's handling the port? KLOC, who's responsible for so many remasters, like Blue Point Games, and they're on, they're up there with Blue Point Games. They even fixed the online infrastructure for Monster. Uh, Monster, I'm so caught up with Monster right now. Uh, with a Mortal Kombat XL on the PC, you know what I'm saying? They fixed that when it was completely broken. When I did that video back then about uh, Mortal Kombat X being broken, because Injustice and Mortal Kombat Nine were broken, so I'm like, ah, you're not fooling me again. And guess what? It ain't broken. I got the game for like. Twelve dollars on cbkeys.com, and yeah, it was it was it was dope. It was dope. So, KLC track record in terms of optimizing games and porting them are fantastic, just like Blue Point Games with the Shadow of uh, Sh uh, uh, Shadow of Colossus remake, which is, looks dope. I forgot to mention that one, by the way. I really should be ashamed of myself and not mention it. That comes out February sixth, uh, next week. Yeah, on Tuesday. So look forward. To that's, that's gonna be dope, but I'm not gonna be I'm not getting that uh, at all unless I can secure the special edition. If I can't, I'm not getting it. I'm just gonna wait to the end of the year to get it, or I'll get it on eBay or something like that. But anyway, I'm looking forward to that, and um, nothing, and all the way up to June. So unless we get some release dates for Pokemon Switch or Metro Prime Four or Shimmer Gun Testing Five, I don't care about anything else that's coming out. I really don't. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I'm missing a title here and there. You know what I'm saying? You tell me what you're looking forward to in 2018 of this year, please. Put in the comment section, wearable grams, wolf flow, afterlife battlefront. Uh, I know I know probably not so much battle like battlefront this year, not too many titles, but please tell me what games you're looking forward to. Uh, you know, retro death, please, whatever. Tell me what games you're looking forward to of 2018. And actually, I may do another video of this year of games looking forward to. So let's get right down to it. So, folks, again, it's another video by Daphne. I'll be doing unboxing for Monster and Double Cross, and uh, I'll probably may do another video after that. So you guys have a good day and God bless you.